Wer einmal lügt. You've come a long way. You must be tired. So, Entschuldigung. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. So... Mm. Well, gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. Oh, that's not good. Alice Gage. Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fable? Good Frage. I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. Don't try to play me. It won't work. I'm not trying to control you. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion. And I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. Or what? You're gonna kill me too? Well, go ahead. You think I give a shit anymore? After what you did? That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Thus. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down. Now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? 
You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'll give a fuck if I'm the one? Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff. But I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you. Oh, I fuck! I'm running out of patience, crooked man. I don't have time to fuck around here. This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Bloody Mary. Hello. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Okay, jetzt geht's hier richtig ans Eingemachte. Und erstmal wegkicken. So, wer kommt als nächstes, ha? Huh? Ein Ladebildschirm. Ein aufgehangenes Bild. Ah, jetzt. Na gut, mal. Was ist denn jetzt los? Hör auf, so lange zu laden. Ein sehr schönes Bild. Blau und ein Kerl, der die Frau umgebracht hat und eine andere Frau. Das sehe ich anders, wenn dieses scheiß Bild hinterherkommen würde. Aber leider hängt das ein bisschen nach anscheinend. Das ist natürlich sehr schön. Deswegen laber ich jetzt einfach mal ein bisschen so zwischen. Ne? Boom! Schön, ihn in die Seite. Und jetzt kriegst du das scheiß Messer in den Bauch. Ja, Gott tut es richtig. Y. Und jetzt mache ich mit dir endgültig Schluss. Wir haben uns verstanden. Jetzt ist es aus mit dir. Ich schwör's dir. Stirb! Bleibt liegen. Also gut, wo willst du hin? Wieso verteidigt sie ihn? Vergiss es, Kleiner! Du kommst hier nicht weg! Wo 
Wenn sie verdammt nochmal hin. I'll be back. Ach, Scheiße. Das ist das falsche Auto. Jetzt reicht es aber auch mit der Drecks. Entkommen, der krumme Mann. Scheiße. Ich wusste, dass der im anderen Auto sitzt, ey. Ich hatte gerade nur Augen für das schwarze Auto. Fuck. Hm, was war das denn? So was kann man doch nicht durch die Gegend fahren. Leute, Leute, Leute. Als ob er mir jetzt entkommen würde, deswegen. Flüchtet in sein Versteck und hofft, dass ich nie nicht finde. So ein Schwachsinn. Also die Nahezeiten haben gerade so ein bisschen irgendwie die, äh, die Stimmung versaut. Also die Atmosphäre versaut. Die Kampfsequenz. Hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Shit. Hello, Big B. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. Oh. Please, Sheriff. Boss. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. <laughs> What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered? Of course it does. Those girls. So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean... Uh, you're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <clears throat> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him, and I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them, and then he fucking sold me out. That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. 
When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. <laughs> well, fuck you. Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. 